All right, this time I'm going to make a script to uh, run Bleach Bit every time and uh, automatically clean our shit for us because I'm too lazy to do it manually myself. So we make a script here. Uh, all right, so you need the uh, version, what is it? Uh, 073 or higher. This one will give you the command line options. That's why you need this, okay? So you type in, uh, what is it, Bleach Bit. Uh, dash H, it'll give you the options here. All right, dash L's for the list, D's for delete, and P's for preview. Basically, the same shit here preview, delete, list. First thing we want to do is grab the list. So, bleach bit dash L, and this is the list of everything that they have here. All right, uh, so let's copy this list. Let's see here. What the hell? Okay. Copy. And uh, we don't need that one no more. Anyways, this is our uh, script over here. And I set it up already, but uh, using ble uh, bleach bit dash D for delete, and we're going to paste it under that. So let's paste that under that. Um, What else is here? Uh, since bash they don't like a new line you know they have to append the new line here if you want to tell bleach bit to continue uh, going to the next uh, read the next line you have to actually uh, do this okay let me see here the slash however it's too tedious to do it manually ourselves so what we're gonna do with uh, G edit here is uh, replace it with uh, let me see control H here and we're gonna do the replace thing. Pl basically, we're gonna look for the new line. So slash n is for a new line, all right? And what it's gonna find is just the blue shit. You see the blue shit? That's what it's gonna find. And we wanna replace it with um, space slash, and let's put zeros, three zeros, slash uh, new line, okay? So this is what it's gonna do if we replace all, say, and they give us a slash zero zero zero. Now we're gonna delete the zeros with our same method here to three zeros, and we wanna replace that with nothing, so we don't have no extra space uh, behind it. So replace all, and there's no space behind uh, the slashes, which is what we want. Now let's get rid of. Um, the slash is where it's not needed, uh, right here. It's not needed here. And uh, what is this here? Uh, not needed here. And at uh, the bottom here, that one is not needed. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, tell it to do not delete the ones that we do not want. So you know how in your list here you check the ones that you want to delete and the ones you don't want to delete you don't check. Basically remove the ones uh, that you do not want to delete. So I want to keep my uh, what is it? My pigeon. I want to keep my logs. So I'm going to delete this out. Don't comment it out, delete it, okay? Because if you commented it with the slashes it will skip that line. So that's why I said delete it. Uh, what's the other one? Thumbnails. Let's see here. The thumbnails. I like to keep that for Nautilus. And transmission for my flex git. Uh, and bash. For the bash history, I like to keep that too. Now, Bleachbit has uh, an administration mode and a normal user. With the admin mode, you can only use uh, uh, those features with uh, what is it? The auto clean, auto remove, and all that, and the deep scan. And uh, the last one was um, what was it? The system. So you can only use that if you're admin level. Okay. Uh, if you want to do that, then you put the script uh, into um, the cron tab administration mode, okay. 
otherwise if you're doing a, a regular user you would have to uh, delete uh, you know the apps and all that apps what's the other one called deep scan there you go and uh, the last one was system right there we go so that's it for our script close it save it and um, bleach bit dash d is for delete okay so make sure you have that and basically you put this into your cron tab and it will delete it uh, whatever hour whatever minutes that you want to delete your stuff and it'll clear it out just like bleach bit but automatically you don't have to do this crap um, manually so that's it hopefully you understand it if you don't I don't care this is mainly for me <laughs> uh, so that is all for the script and um, if you want to test it out uh, you can do the cron tab mode or whatever and uh, you know hit the uh, the test run otherwise you can just drag your script in here okay your Matarazzi script and uh, let, let me just change this to preview because I don't want to delete it right now okay preview and save and now the script will actually uh, preview it see this recover uh, 1.3 gigabytes and you give us a little notification thing that thing is down here I, I put that here you can put an image to it if you like not really necessary but I like to do that so that's it for the script I'll post it on the side hopefully you understood it like I say we don't and this script ain't for you that's it